Hello everyone, I am Kalia Oliviaki and I'm your design journey art class expert for drawing with watercolors and inks while creating paintings inspired by nature and just all the beauty around us. Going strong to our fifth session, we're going to move forward and leave behind blank inks and pigment liners and add even more color and texture to our paintings. Working on our blending and watercolor techniques while creating beautiful nature motifs inspired by children's book illustrations. And one of my favorite part is being even more creative using color pencils to add texture and transform simple shapes. The materials we're going to use are the 24 watercolor pans from the Design Journey assortment that is a beautiful collection of all the colors you may need. Also the 24 watercolor pencils and the brush set. Of course, to follow up all the exercises and prepare our sketches, we're going to use an eraser and sharpener in case we need them, while also a ruler for any symmetrical planning. The paper I'm using is once again A5 size, 300 GSM watercolor paper, cold pressed. Starting off with our technique, after carefully choosing my color palette that is basically muted earthy greens and browns and yellows, you can see here I will make random shapes and fill them in with the watercolors. Most of the times, children's book illustrations take a look around the world and nature and then simplify those shapes and keep main elements that remind us of this object, like maybe the color and texture. I will use the Stadler watercolor pencils to outline my shapes because that way the line work can also blend into the paint, while regular pencil will just be there or even smudge and create an unwanted grey tone. Wetting my brush and dipping into the color and then spreading it around the shape. You can create simple flat layering or you can start doing different watercolor textures by adding more paint or water and changing the ratio of these two. Now we should wait a bit so the watercolor can dry. Now that our paper is dry, it is time to add characteristics to those shapes and actually make them look like something. By just adding branches with my brown pencil, this round blob of color is now a tree. And this is how easily you can create a beautiful illustration with simple elements. There are so many texture ideas you can add to your shapes, like lines or dots or more abstract shapes or anything else you would like, that can transform and give the final touches to your watercolors. Now, the last tip for this technique is remembering to add depth on your elements. Make it visible enough for what it is in the front and what is in the back. This will give beautiful dimension that is needed to make an illustration even better. And you can achieve that by making the part of the element that is on the back and close to the front darker. Like there is a shadow that the frontal object is casting on the one that is on the back. Of course the shadow will be on the place where these two are close to each other. And then again, by adding simple lines and textures, these shapes have been transformed into something so beautiful so easily. 
I have to say, this is one of my favorite techniques, always so much fun to use. And the magic happens when you actually combine all these into a bigger painting and yeah, now you're ready to start your journey talent. I'm sure you're gonna have so much fun mixing all those materials like watercolors and colored pencils and have a really unique painting in the end. Starting off, I make sure my materials are ready and mainly the color pencils are sharp and ready to create details and patterns. In this piece we will have a beautiful lighthouse scenery, so after I found the center of the page, I start sketching the lighthouse that is a pretty simple symmetrical shape. I did all this with a brown color pencil and not with a graphite pencil, because when I start coloring the line work can blend in with the rest of the painting, while the graphite pencil could smudge and create grey tones. You can always pause the video to keep up with me and copy the sketch you're seeing. So after my lighthouse is ready, I start placing random shapes on both sides. Other big ones, other smaller ones and oval looking or maybe more unique round shapes. All these will be my trees or rocks or bushes and even clouds. Next step is to fill in all these shapes with your desired colors. I once again went with earthy tones, oranges, yellows, browns and greens. Always try to use more than one inside my shapes to make them more interesting and unique. Went back to the lighthouse and filled in the three lines and the top part again with a darker reddish brown and a lighter one. Now that our base colors are dry, we can grab the color pencils and start having fun by adding lines and patterns inside our shapes and giving them identity.
They can be from simple dots and lines to branches or anything else you may like and inspire you. Truly, this illustration process is so much fun and the final painting is always unique and beautiful. Add your final touches like I am doing with a few naked branches trees or some rainy snowy drops and you are done! Your beautiful illustration inspired by the simplicity of children's book is so beautiful and ready for you to hang on your wall or give to a friend. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I cannot wait to see your creations, your beautiful trees and everything, so make sure to share them with me on Instagram using the hashtag MyDesignJourney. Thank you so much for being here with me and following this design journey that it is truly all about finding inspiration in nature and just being creative no matter your previous art experience.